For today's video, I am doing a life update and I didn't really have anything planned out. I'm just going to talk about what has been happening. I feel like I need to update you guys on a lot of things because uh, a lot of things have been happening lately, so I thought I'd make a life update video. So I hope you guys enjoy. And the first update is that I am going to Cali in a few days, and I am so, so, so excited about that. And I am going to Cali because I'm going to visit my best friend, and guys, I haven't seen her in a year and a half. I last went to visit her in March of last year. So it's been a hot minute and I'm very, very excited. She is, she actually just got engaged like a couple months ago. And so, oh guys, I can't wait for her to get married. I get to be in her wedding. So I'm very excited about that. And I get to go to California again. She's not getting married yet until next February, but yeah, so that's been very exciting. I haven't been to Cali ever since, and I love California. At first, I didn't think that I was gonna like it, but I fell in love with California. Like, I could actually move there if I wanted to, but I won't because I think I like Colorado a little bit more, and I don't know, I'm just not ready for that transition, but um, I would consider living there. Probably not like in LA or like those places that are like super super packed with people and like just overpopulated But I would think about it Anywho, so yeah, I'm gonna go visit her I'm just gonna be there for about five days and we're gonna have lots of fun I'm not really sure what all we're gonna do, but I will be making a vlog on my trip to California So stay tuned for that by the way Please don't make fun of my hair. This is my gym hair. Well, not always, but I try to braid my hair when I go to the gym because it's so much better and yeah, it's so cool because I don't know what it looks like in the back, but I tried guys, I really did try. Anyways, I'm going to the gym right after this video and I'm actually in a little bit of a hurry. So I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. I just don't wanna be late to the gym because as some of you may know, I do CrossFit and they have classes. So um, my I go to class at 5.40 usually. And yeah, that's what time, that's around what time it is. Well, right now it's 5.21, so I have to get going on this video. But since we're on the topic of gym and CrossFit, another exciting news is that I am going to be competing on my first, I'm gonna do my first CrossFit competition in Denver in about 10 days, I believe. And oh my gosh, guys, I am so, so nervous about that. I've never competed in my life and it's very, very competitive. One of the girls I go to CrossFit with, she is the one that pushed me to do this competition with her. And I was like, no way. At first I was like, there is no way I'm gonna compete. Like I'm not equipped for it. Like I have a lot, of, a lot more training to do. I'm just not one of the best ones. You know, because I've only been doing CrossFit for about 10 months. And so she was like, don't worry about it. Like, I'm not doing it for, like, for the prize. I'm not doing it to win. Like, I just want to do it for the experience. And so when she said that, I was like, okay. Like, if you really do want me to be your partner, I would love to experience that too. So, yeah, I really don't know what to expect. Like, it's going to be very intimidating because there's going to be, like, 50 groups and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that are way above me, but hey, I'm gonna do it, that's all that counts, and I will also keep you guys updated on that. Hopefully I can do like a little video, and that's after I come back from California, which is another thing, like on top, like another thing on my plate. Um, I do wanna, I do want to enjoy my vacation and everything, but I'm gonna have to be very, very careful, and I'm gonna have to train a lot while I'm there. So it's kind of a bummer, but, at least, you know, I'll be in shape and everything and, you know, who cares? We'll see what happens. Also, I apologize if the lighting is changing. Like, I'm, my room is a little bit dark right now because of the time of day. But anyway, so yeah, I'm getting ready for this competition. Guys, I've made so much progress and I'm very, very proud of myself. But I still, I'm still not where I want to be. Um, but look at these gains. Just kidding. But really, I think I've made a lot of progress. I love CrossFit. I'm like literally addicted to it. Another exciting thing that's happening in the near future is that I'm gonna be going to a training again in Denver and it's for work. Um, we're gonna go to the Rockies game, which is pretty awesome. I can't wait for that. And then we're also gonna do a training with all of the staff 
that I work with and that should be fun because it's a love and logic training so if you're a teacher you're, you're probably familiar with that language if not don't worry about it anyways I'm doing a training so I'm excited to do that I think it's gonna be a good year and on that topic also school is about to start in just like a month I cannot believe it. I can't wrap my head around that. Like, a month is gonna fly by so fast and I'm so excited yet nervous and also like kind of bummed out that I didn't get to do as many things that I wanted to. Like, for example, I wanted to go on a long road trip, which I won't be able to. And I wanted to hike a 14er, which some of you guys might not know what that is. A 14er is just a mountain that is 14,000 feet plus in elevation okay well that was frustrating because i just ran out of storage but i just fixed that anyway so yeah i wanted to hike a 14 er and i wanted to do a whole bunch of other things that i didn't get to do but because my summer has been so busy like always i'm constantly always going like i haven't been able to do that but hey i'm okay with that because there's oh my mom's calling me i'll call her back but anyways, like, I feel like I always want to load my summers with a bunch of cool things to do and I never get around doing all of them. But hey, I can't complain because I am a teacher and I get, mo I get my summers off and that's super awesome. I feel like I have taken advantage, like, as far as resting and just getting ready for the year. So yeah, I can't wait to share with you guys what my school year looks like here soon. So... As I mentioned in my testimony video, I have been talking to a guy and like I said, he is from out of state. So he is coming down this at the end of this month and I'm so excited for that. He's not really coming down, like he's coming down obviously and he's gonna visit me, but that's not the main reason that he's coming down. There's more personal reasons and then we're also going to a camp. Um, which is it's called collegiate week and it's in Oklahoma. It's in Foss Creek So it's a huge massive like campus where people where there's like camps all the time It's a college camp for like college age Students and everything and I'm not in college, but I, I am an intern for the college in my town so I'm gonna be going as an intern and it's from the ministry that I work with anyways so he's gonna go to that to that and we're gonna be able to hang out which is gonna be amazing and I don't know guys I know that I'm saying this and I'm talking about him a little too soon but hey since it's long distance it's kind of hard not to because you guys like he's only gonna be here for a few days so I'm really excited about that we're thinking about making a video together and um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post that like now or later so I guess you guys will find it out but yeah I'm super excited about that it's gonna be the first time that we hang out one-on-one -on -one. and yeah this guy is really special we are just friends as of right now so like don't freak out but yeah so I can't wait for that it's gonna be super fun and I can't wait for a collegiate week guys I went last year and there were so many good speakers it was David Platt, Ben Stewart, um, Jonathan Pecluda from The Porch and guys oh my gosh it was just so amazing I grew so much in my relationship with God and it was just very uplifting definitely what I needed so I'm very I'm really looking forward to to that and as a college ministry intern like you always need that and I feel like I feel like I need that motivation because I definitely want to do more with the college ministry I'm helping with this year like I really want to have some leadership roles and yeah I can't wait for that I also wanted to update you guys on my whole YouTube journey and guys I know I have to leave soon to go to the gym, but I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about that. I feel like it's going pretty good. I feel like I've been adjusting very well, especially like after we went out on we went out for summer. Like I was very busy at the end of the school year, and so obviously I couldn't um, put out as much content as I wanted to but this summer has been great I've been making a lot of videos I've been learning a lot about the YouTube community about editing and all sorts of things so yeah I'm very excited to be a youtuber and to have my channel 
grow so fast thanks to my sister. I think her giving me shout outs and me being on her videos have definitely helped just um, with my subscribers. So with that guys, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching like all of my videos and for supporting me and for like all of you guys' feedback and comments. That really, really helps me out and I am so thankful to do uh, life with you guys. I'm so thankful that you guys get to see a little bit about me each week and that I get to just learn about you guys through your comments and stories and I really do I really do love reading about you guys and so I'm just very thankful. I just recently hit 2,000 subscribers which is so incredibly amazing like what? That's insane like I never really thought that I would be a YouTuber much less that I would have 2,000 plus subscribers. So yeah, thank you guys so much to every single one of you guys who is always watching my videos, always commenting, liking my videos. Guys, that helps a ton, especially as a new YouTuber. And yeah, so I really hope that I can keep doing YouTube. And I know that this school year is gonna be a little busy, especially at the beginning. So I may not be posting as consistent as I would like to, but I'm gonna try really hard. And I hope that you guys bear with me on that. It's gonna be a lot of work you know, trying to uh, go into my third year of teaching as well as doing YouTube and it just takes forever to edit. So really guys, I appreciate you guys and I hope that you guys can be patient with me as I keep going with my career um, t in teaching and being a YouTuber. It's very still cringing to me to watch myself on video. Sometimes I say things and do things um, that are just weird and like hard for me to watch but I'm very glad that you guys think I'm entertaining. I am trying to get better and I am trying to be less camera shy. It's very very hard to just speak to a camera and especially when there's people around me. So it's better when I'm in my room but Regardless, guys, being a YouTuber is not easy, so thank you guys for understanding, and that's pretty much all I have for my life update right now. I really need to head to the gym because I'm running late, but thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for you guys to see my California vlog, and I may or may not do a video on packing and packing tips. So if I decide to do that, be on the lookout because that will be coming in the next few days. Again guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm so excited to be a YouTuber and just get to know you guys and thank you guys so much for the support. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye!